The following video is sponsored by Shenandoah Georgia Youth Science and Technology Center. Hi everyone and welcome back to iScience. Today's experiment is a laser microscope. I have with me today Ms. Allison Hurston who is a biology teacher here at Noonan High School and she's going to be our biology expert and help us point out the animals that we're going to see floating around in our laser microscope. This experiment is definitely DIY as long as you keep in mind some general safety concerns. Number one, avoid eye contact with the laser because it can actually damage your eye. And Ms. Hurston, you want to tell us about the water there? Yeah, there's a lot of produce swimming around in our sample, and produce can be harmful to us and other animals and humans in general. So make sure you don't drink the water, and when you're done, wash your hands after um, handling the water. Good safety tips, and as long as you follow those safety tips, you should be able to do this at home with no problem. To do this at home, all you need is a laser pointer, a sheet, something along those lines that will really help you see the image, and some way to form a drop of water that you can shoot the laser through. In this case, we've used a syringe. You need a laser pointer on a stable surface. I've used some clamps here, but you could use a stack of books, some wooden blocks, a concrete block, anything like that to keep the laser pointer stable. Now, it takes a little bit of practice, but you need to aim the laser directly at the drop of water. It may take a couple tries before you can actually get the laser lined up with the droplet of water to act as your lens, but just be patient with it. And as soon as you get it kind of lined up, you will see a variety of microorganisms on your screen. When you're setting up this experiment, it will probably help if you do it in the dark. That way you can see the alignment a lot better. Allison, let's turn off the lights and take a look at what's in our water droplet. Definitely. All right, Ms. Hurston, so, so tell me a little bit about what you're seeing here. I, I see a lot of things swimming around in there. Can you point a couple things out for us? Definitely. What we're seeing mostly is kingdom protista, which is kind of the kingdom that includes a lot of different things, like unicellular, multicellular organisms. But most of these guys, um, if you see, like for example, this guy right here swimming around, that's going to be a paramecium, and they have these cilia that are kind of all around it, they kind of like hairs. How about that? Um, that? That's another paramecium, I think, but if we see this worm, it almost looks like a worm, um, but it's not segmented like an annelid, so it's called the spirostoma. There it goes. <laughs> um, spirostoma. Yeah, and then there's a... The little circle things that we see, that could be some diatoms just floating in the water, but then we'll see these little guys swimming across. They're just going to be ciliates like so maybe smaller paramecium or maybe even, even some flagellates like the euclina that just swim across there. <laughs> so, wow. Yeah. Never knew so much was swimming around in our water. Yeah. Another reason why you never drink pond water or just water that hasn't been boiled because of all these kind of things swimming around in it. They can make you pretty sick. Good to have a biology teacher around to explain things yeah, like this to us. Exactly. The science behind the laser microscope is that the laser is an intense beam of light which passes through the water droplet. That water droplet acts as a lens and will magnify the image. If you've got a water droplet with pond water in it, you have lots of microorganisms that are floating around in there that you can see projected onto a screen. Allison, that was super cool. Can you share with us some tips on, on how to make sure you're getting some good wildlife in your water? Definitely. What you need is murky water. It doesn't have to necessarily come from a pond, but wherever you get your water source, you need to get some sort of vegetation in there. Um, you don't want it to be really clear. Like here's a sample that we used, um, and it has a lot of detritus in it, some algae, and that's what those microorganisms feed on. So you won't see a lot of microorganisms in something like your regular tap water. So you want to get something a stagnant body of water that's kind of been sitting around that has a lot of vegetation in it for those microorganisms to feed off of. Sounds disgusting, but very cool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that was the laser microscope. And remember, this is something that you can do at home with any laser pointer that you have, a red one, green one, purple one, whichever one you've got. Just remember to be safe. Don't point it directly at anyone's eyes. And like Ms. Hurston said, make sure you wash your hands and don't drink the water. Um, so that's, that's it for today's iScience. Be sure to stay tuned for more iScience on CatWeedaTV.com. The I in iScience stands for interactive. We produce the show with you in mind. So if you have any questions or demonstrations that you'd like to see, please send me an email and I'll get them on the air for you.